What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. And first off, happy early December. And second of all, I hope you're having a great weekend. So with the introduction out of the way, I wanted to talk about the Arrow Village. More specifically, during the Zero Energy member fishing benefit. And simply put, what I'm trying to do is answer the main question, which is what it offers or benefits you. At first glance, when you take a look at the pool or the little pond aside from the Arrow Village, you can see that it might look a bit large from an aerial view, but I can assure you that it's pretty s small and it's a very small fraction compared to the bundle house. The next thing we're going to look at is the type of fish that you can gather from here. In all fairness, there's only three schools of fish. If you want to exclude the typical mistletoe angler, you can since it's a life fish. And those three schools are Balance, Myth, and Storm. The fish that you can gather from here are the Arrow Dwarf Doodle Fish, the Fall Foliage Fish, the Fish Sandwich, Grape Jellyfish, Mistletoe Angler, Trigger Fish, Yule Toy Fish, and most importantly I gather, or I think it's the most important, is the Arrow Fin. All this information can be found on the Wizard101 Central Wiki, which I will link down in the description below. But it says that it lists the triggerfish, which I'm not exactly too sure if it exists in the pond there. Because I've reset the pond about 10 or 15 times, actually more specifically 13 times, okay? I fished a lot out of that house just to gather this amount of information. And I have not received any single triggerfish at all. But enough about me ranting on the trigger fish. I want to talk about the arrow fin. The reason why the arrow fin is pretty good to get from this pond or this bundle house is because the only other place that you can get it from is Ravenwood. And Ravenwood has the other archer fish and that means since it's rank 1 and the, all the others are rank 1 as well and there's a lot of decoys and balance akudas and you don't really want to deal with that. The arrow fin's also rank 1. So the reason why I think it's a pretty good place to get the arrowfin here is because you only have one of two choices. It's either going to be a fall foliage fish or the arrowfin. Now the last thing I want to talk about is the type of treasure that you can get from the treasure chests. The treasure does vary a little. On the first spot you will always get gold, the second spot will always be a reagent, and the third spot is basically a wild card. What I mean by wild card is that you can get jewels, seeds, gear, or even more reagents. Alrighty guys, if this helped you during the zero energy member fishing benefit, make sure to hit the like button, or if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. But until then, take care and peace.